It's one of those international fixtures that goes beyond sport. For two nations whose histories are so entwined, England and France locking horns on the football pitch means more than simply the chance to win a match. Never more so than at Wembley on Tuesday. Friendlies are often derided as meaningless, but in the wake of the terrorist atrocities which struck Paris on Friday, this is a game loaded with significance. A chance for the English to stand united alongside their neighbours, through sporting defiance, for both nations to show the steely determination that a treasured way of life will not be defeated by violence. The global nature, if you like, of this statement with the game going ahead is, is, is of vital importance. So let's hope that tomorrow night is the occasion, we all hope it will be, where the world of football, and in particular England, will show its solidarity with our, our French cousins and that the people who come to watch the game will see a game of football which will give them some pleasure and some entertainment. Aside from the societal significance, in footballing terms, this is a fixture of importance to both teams as they prepare for next year's European Championships. Having not played a competitive fixture since the 2014 World Cup, hosts France have a chance to test themselves against the side with the best record in qualification. England's perfect campaign of 10 wins from 10 in booking their place for the tournament has raised expectations. But Friday's defeat in Spain showed Roy Hodgson's side still have much work to do, especially after France beat world champions Germany 2-0 on the same night. Over the, you know, the last 18 months, um, I've been very excited by this, this team and obviously there's a lot more younger players, um, certainly in this squad now, um, who have come into the, the squad and um, it's a great opportunity for them to, to represent England uh, at such a young age and um, so many young players, as the man just said, starting the game tomorrow night is um, a big challenge against a, a good French team. So. We need to, you know, be together and you know try and put our game plan into into effect, really, because we know it'll be a tough, tough game. Since their maiden meeting in Paris in 1923, England and France have played a further 28 times. The three Lions have 16 victories to Les Bleus eight, although the English enjoyed success in 10 of the first 11 matches. France have won four of the last six meetings, drawing the other two, including the pair's opener at Euro 2012. Indeed, not since 1997 have the English beaten their neighbours from across the channel. They won the win thanks to Alan Shearer's late goal. Tuesday's match at Wembley will send out a message no matter what happens on the pitch. But Hodgson hopes his side can also show they have what it takes to stand alongside the best in France next year. Walters has, uh, Walters had, a, has had a tournament to remember. Tournament and Bad word to use because it wasn't, but the qualification rounds. He's been fantastic.